Unbelievable, none of you is ready for this deck profile. I promise you, none of you is ready for something like this. The best deck in the game right now, hands down, 100% is Krennic. This is the best deck profile. Beats Sabine, beats Vader, beats Palpatine. Tell me a deck I cannot beat with this list. I bet you there's not a single deck. This is what I'm going to be running for the next, next set. If you want to win the 5k, if you want to win every regionals coming up for set one, if you want to win every single tournament coming up, play this deck. I bet you, hands down, this is insane. Let's jump into it. You're going to love this Krennic deck. It's absolutely insane. Just make sure you su subscribe to me and give me a follow if you guys like this. You're going to gain insane value from this, guys. Let's, let's jump right into it. Krennic is absolutely insane. His passive is activated even the turn he dies, so he gives plus one to everybody. Changes the whole mode of the game. Death Trooper gives you insane value. Scout Bike Pursuit gives you insane value, so now we add those cards in. Also, Inferno 4 becomes an amazing card that lets you sift through the deck. Allows you to, for example, if you're going against a late game deck, you can you know exactly what to set up for. And if you're going against the aggro deck, you know exactly what you're setting up for. Inferno 4 is crazy. So let's just jump every single card one by one, guys. Inferno 4 is a must. This is the only way you can beat Sabine, is by either ACLing Star Viper turn one, uh, turn two with uh, initiative, or Inferno 4 turn one. That's the only way you can slow down Sabine, because what happens is once she wing leaders, you can at least deal with the wing leader and then you can steal out the unit she had uh, pulled out with a uh, with the traitorous. That way you can slow down the game. Besides that, you lose completely. If you don't ECL Consortium Star Viper or you play Inferno 4 turn 1 or in ECL Star Viper turn 2, you literally automatically lose to Sabine. I'm going to show you guys. You literally automatically lose to Sabine. You need those uh, space units in there. Scout Bike Pursuit is absolutely amazing. Balances out the game towards the end game. Uh, when when uh, power, power of the Dark Side is insane value, this is amazing, gives you a 5-1, it can get to 5-1 uh, damage uh, with the ability of Krennic and its own grit ability by taking all the damage possible and it just sits on the board and nobody can really deal with it. I think in my opinion it's much better than Regional Governor which is why I use it. A lot of people like to use the Regional Governor but I completely opted away from the Regional Governor, it's way too RNG, it's, there's a lot of times that it's used, utilized. But uh, I think just right now, it's a little bit too RNG for me. There's so many cunning decks that I don't know how to deal with, and that's probably why. But if you guys are geniuses, I guess that would be your way to deal with it, is remove the scout bike for more originals. But guys, Viper Probe is another amazing card. It's not as strong as... Uh, early game is not as strong as it is late game. Late game is just so powerful, allowing you to see exactly what's in the opponent's hand. Towards the late, uh, the late stages of the game, like after eight resources, Basically, the opponent is just going to keep his hand. He's not going to resource a lot. So seeing this hand is just absolutely insane. You see how many power of the dark sides he, he has. There was a couple of games where I needed to see the hand and it told me that there's a takedown and open fire. So that way I needed to power up my Avenger and make sure it doesn't die to those two together. And it lets me win game with the overwhelming barrage. You know what I mean? It's absolutely insane. Even if you didn't get value from the overwhelming barrage by popping anything, because you keep the Avenger on board, it can pop up whatever it, it wants. And so basically that's 10 damage for free that the opponent cannot deal with. And because your Avenger is hurt, it's actually plus one. So it's 11 damage. Insane value, guys. Krennic just gives you so much. Uh, moving on, guys. Death Trooper is amazing. Activates your Scout Bike Pursuit. ECL Death Trooper, that's five damage. Uh, ECL Death Trooper onto itself, that's six damage because he gives plus one. It's insane value, guys. You can do a lot of work with that. Uh, Power of the Dark Side is another really strong card. Super Laser Technician is okay, it's, you know, obviously we want to push it off. When we push, it, push this off against Sabine, we basically pull out the same turn Sabine pulls out. Really, really useful, helps us because the turn where Sabine is at four resources, she gains so much value and, and we can catch up with her by restoring a little bit of HP. Star Viper, like I told you again, uh, earlier, this is the only way you can deal with Sabine. There's literally no way you can deal with Sabine except by playing Space Unit early. This is what I figured out. I figured out why am I losing so much against Sabine, even though I had so much resource uh, restoring. Uh, you don't need the cargo juggernauts, you don't need none of that BS, you don't need none of make an op uh, opening, you don't need none of that. All you need to do is control the wing leader once it comes out and steal whatever the wing leader gives power to. And so if it gives it to the Sabine, make sure you have the steadfast ready uh, so you can attack it to the leader Sabine and kill that leader Sabine with 7 uh, power. So that's what's happening guys. You, what you're doing is you're actually not being able to catch up with the space units that Sabine is dropping. Sabine drops a raider turn 1 squadron, then drops a wing leader turn 2. Then drops Sabine, uh, she has a wing leader and squadron, and she has, uh, then she can go KS20, KS20, KS20. So that's four, now she has four people on the on the board and you barely have one unit, And but with Krennic, you now you have your leader, you can actually ECL uh, Gideon if you use the resupply or super laser, 
So you, you have ways to deal with it, but the only, what happens is you fall behind in the space avenue. So the only way you can balance out in space is to have an Inferno 4 or to kill out that squadron that's turn before it basically evos out with the initi initiative from your side on the Star Viper. Anyways, so that's why I keep uh, reiterating guys, Star Viper is the only way you can deal with Sabine. Uh, resupply at three, cell block only at two. You do not need any more. The priority is Death Trooper. There is no other priority. Uh, when Death Trooper is on board, cell block just doesn't give you as much value. Uh, and then other cards that you really can pull out, that you really want to pull out with the uh, Vader is the Inferno 4. You actually want to pull out Inferno 4s. You don't want to pull out any more cell blocks sometimes. Inferno 4s just give you so much more value, allow you to fix your deck, use it twice. It's so good. Uh, but with one, one Inferno 4 lets you look at four cards. It's so freaking amazing. And uh, let's you just fix the top of the deck and get uh, ready. Take down at five, guys. We you were at two, two the take down two, 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 two take down to vanquish, but now we pushed it at three. I think vanquish is much less value uh, than take down, and also take down with the death trooper. We can actually get things that are really big to that take down level to kill them out. Also, we noticed that we a lot of cards are uh, really, really easily dealt with. Eden, Sabine. Gideon Husk, Steadfast Battalions, a lot of big, big five uh, power creatures, Count Dooku's, they're dealt with with the takedown, so we went for a uh, full lineup of the takedown, not, none of the side, but it's insane value, guys, it's giving us a lot of value. Husk is your only guy that you really need. Once you are against Boba, you can side in your Steadfast. That, that's what the Steadfast is really for, it's for Boba and Sabine, that's pretty much it. You never will use Steadfast for anything else. And, but Gideon just gives you so much value, ECL in the Gideon, uh, that's what the Inferno 4 for, is for. If you can play Inferno 4 turn 1, you don't have to ECL the Star Viper, now we can keep the ECL for the Gideon. And so instead of playing Star Viper, you can control the board a little bit, and turn 2, instead of playing Star Viper ECL, you can resupply or Super Laser Blast, uh, rank up quicker, get some more resources early, so you can pull out the Krennic the same turn Sabine pulls out, and you can ECL the Husk and gain insane amounts of value, P killing a Sabine, gaining plus one uh, re uh, experience to the Krennic, and just uh, evening out the board. So this is why Inferno 4 is so important, because you don't want to waste your ECL to Star Viper, but at some point, if the squadron is on board, you didn't pl drop your Inferno 4, it's turn 2, you need to drop, and you don't have traitors in hand, you have to kill that squadron, or it just, the game's just gonna be too crazy. You need a traitorous, you need something to deal with whatever he's gonna pump up, and you, you can't. So, Gideon is insane, he just balances out so many games. You never pull him out, you just add the steadfast into the deck, you just don't ever pull him out of the deck, he's just so good. But you don't wanna have too much mid-game, so we got rid of the cargo juggernaut, we got rid of the steadfast. What was happening, we were losing against Palpatines, we're losing against uh, Vader. Vader's just so fast. He just when the turn he pulls out, when with the Vader saber and overwhelming barrage empties out your board, and he does ten damage to you, and you cannot come back from that. So what we, we needed, we need something to slow down. We don't want any more uh, mid game. We just play one husk, force him to choke it out, give us the cards that we need, and draw into hopefully a super laser blast, which is why we're running two super laser blasts because Vader you cannot deal with Vader like with with your normal mid game character. So against Vader you cannot steadfast is trash. Absolutely trash against Vader. Gideon Hask is not useful at all. It just gets choked out. So this is why we dropped all that number down because we were having a really bad matchup against Vader. And the only way we can deal with Vader better is to have Dooku's. Is to have uh, because Vader takes a lot of damage. When I drop my own Vader with an ambush, I can dump into dump, dump some damage into him. I just can't deal more than uh, enough. So Dooku comes up, uh, steals the Vader. I can super laser blast the Vader. As long as I keep up with resources with the Vader, uh, he literally cannot deal with it. Vader cannot deal with Avengers. Vader cannot deal with Devastators really easily. So they're forced to use two cards or, or ECL into the Vader with a Ruthless Raider. They, they, it needs a couple of steps. They cannot just uh, power the dark side or Emperor Palpatine is not even enough to kill the Avenger. So... Once you can get to that late game, you're fine, but to get to 8 resources to 9 resources is going to be hell because the turn Vader comes out is going to be an amazing turn, it's going to be a huge turn, he can deal 10 damage with the Vader Saber and uh, Overwhelming Barrage, so you got to be extremely careful, and usually what happens is Vader's are going to ASAP resupply over you, ASAP try to uh, jump on top of you, and so what you're going to see 2 Super Lasers for example, you're going to see a re Super Laser resupply, so they're going to get to 7 really quickly. And so you need to be very careful. That turn that Vader comes out, you need to always be caught up. And then you need to either Vader into him, kill it. Or once he Vader sabers and clears your board out with the overwhelming barrage, you just super laser blast it. Or uh, 
you know, Avenger it or whatever it is. You need to be caught up. You need to, you need to actually chase the Vader at that time. You need to actually be faster than the Vader. You need to actually resupply Super Laser. So I would mulligan for resupplying Super Laser because Vader, once he gets to seven, you wins the game. Like against you, if you're, if you're at five or six and Vader is at seven, you lost game. You have to be at seven the same turn Vader is seven or you lose game. Because what happens is if he's at seven and he's resupplied a couple of turns early, and he doesn't need to resupply again to get to seven. He just plays a Vader commanding of the first legion. So this green Vader. And then he pulls out his own Vader. So it's almost non-beatable, just a full board. You need to be a seven to either pull out your own Vader to deal with his board or to super laser next turn by taking initiative. So he gains some value, but you can just balance out the board by super lasering. Uh, so that's how you only, that's the only way you can deal with Vader guys. So be very careful. Let's keep going, guys. Overwhelming Barrage broken once, uh, once some, some boards is on there. It's amazing. Traitorous is amazing. And Sabine is really good. Against Boba Fett's are amazing value you can gain from there. There's so many strong three cost units. Uh, you pull those out again. Honestly, I guess against Super Lady and like Palpatine, you don't necessarily need them. They're still useful. Sometimes Palpatine only plays one card per turn late game. So you can just steal that card. It's really not, not bad. And he's not going to worry about stealing it back. I guess it's good, but uh, it's it's always going to stay in the deck. It's very rare you're ever going to remove these traders. They're just giving you so much value. They steal. It's basically kill a unit and gain a unit. It's so much value. Count Dooku at two. I don't think you need any more. Uh, test that out for me. Test that out. See if two is enough. Uh, maybe add one more in the deck, uh, side deck. But as you can see, our sideboard is just so full. And we'll talk about that in a minute. But Count Dooku is insane value. It just allows you to gain so much board control. You, you're shielded. Um, he comes out, he kills something, and then he stays ready for the next turn to deal 5 damage. So, so strong. Uh, Darth Vader, same thing. He's ambushing. Basically, does what Dooku's doing. So just we get an extra uh, Darth Vader. It's really, really useful. If anybody tells you, hey, what's a good substitution for Darth Vader that's cheaper? It's Count Dooku. It has to be Count Dooku. It's either Mercenary's Company or Count Dooku. The 6 cost Mercenary Company or Count Dooku. Count Dooku is just so strong, guys. I have many, many tries where I've tested them out. I was like, can I gain value from him? Just playing one Count Dooku out, clearing out the board, forcing the opponent to attack into it, clearing the shield, clearing out another unit or making it much weaker. And then he can clear it out. It's so difficult. Uh, it doesn't die to a force shock. The only thing that can really kill it is take down and that's really it. Or power of the dark side. Darth Vader again, uh, Super Laser Blast. We actually want to run three Super Laser Blasts against the Thrawn, against Palpatines. You actually want to play two uh, Super Lasers versus Palpatine. You want to play them right behind each other, the same turns. So the turn he steals your Vader, you want to play it. And then the next turn, what he's going to do, he's going to flood the field again. So he's going to play his uh, Vader and something else. You want to uh, Super Laser Blast that. And then you've completely evened out the board. So that's what that's for. Also against Thrawn, you're going to need to Super Laser twice. Uh, there's going to be a couple of turns where he's going to Super Laser you, get ahead of you. And that's the only way you can c come back. But besides that, guys... Yeah, just two is enough against Sabine. We don't need it too much against Boba and everything else as he works. Avenger, once Avenger lands against Vader, that's pretty much game over. He does not know how to deal with Avenger. So you want Avenger. Devastator is really good as well. Uh, of course, that's, that's our, their only way to deal with our Avengers is Devastators. But we're just, that's why we added more side deck Avengers. So let's talk about the side deck, guys. I want to talk about the cards you don't see here, like Reinforcement Walkers. Absolutely trash. You don't need Reinforcement Walkers for nothing. Completely useless. The only real value for Reinforcement Walkers is that you overwhelming barrage it. But come on, man. Do you really need to a Reinforcement Walker? Or is it better to just drop a Devastator or an Avenger? Or to drop a Relentless? To be honest, Relentless is even more value than a Walker for me. So I just don't have any walkers in the in the deck at all. Also, you're not gonna see any cargo juggernauts, guys. I like I said earlier, they're just way too slow. Uh, there's no making openings. I tried them out. You don't need them. What you need against Sabine is you need a space unit early out. That's it. That's what you need against Sabine. You don't need making openings. It's just too slow. But it's a nice option if you want to add 52 cards into the deck. You could run it. Uh, but yeah, Super Laser Blast that one, we need those three, like I talked to you guys against uh, late Super Late Game, so, like against any deck that's blue and black, we need Super Laser Blast at two, at three. Against Vader also, we need Super Laser Blast at three, because he can get, kill us really quickly once the turn he gets to Vader. Relentless is interesting, I've been testing it out, certain decks like Palpatine really get hurt by this. Certain decks like Thrawn really get hurt by this, where they gain so much value from Super Lasers. So this is amazing. You might even be able to add one more, but I actually saw more value in my Devastators than my Relentless. So I kept the Relentless at one and kept the Devastators at three. Basically, I have a full set of Devastators. I always see more value in Devastator than Relentless, but still really cool option to have. 
Uh, also Vanquish there for the Boba Fett matchups, for the Vader matchups. It's uh, you, for to kill the Fett spray, you need an extra Vanquish. Uh, but uh, you really remove those in the Sabine matchup, for example, which is why we ran only two. Uh, System Patrol Craft, also for the Boba matchup. Also, there's a lot of cunning cards that go super heavy, like a lot of cunning decks that go super heavy into space. Uh, so that's what that's for. Guys, this is it, guys. I mean, have you ever seen a human being give you a more compromise, comprehensive, more freaking uh, deep in thought and deep entrenched in value, knowledge, deck profile? I've never seen anything like this before. I've actually got one more thing for you. Keep watching. I got more gameplay for you guys so you can see how this deck runs in real life. See how it f f feels against S Sabine, against Vader, against these big decks. And I just ask you guys for one thing. Make sure you guys subscribe to me, guys. I'm trying to give you as much value as you can, I, as I can. The only way I can give you that much value is by subscribing so you can get those uh, videos right when I drop them. So make sure you guys subscribe to the master of the game with Manar. And you're not going to regret it, I promise you guys. Make sure you comment down below what do you think about this deck with our cargo juggernaut. And I'll see you guys later. All right, let's do this, baby. I, can't lose them. I think I'm going to keep this hand. This hand is going to destroy you completely, ultimately, absolutely step on your heads. Now, the only problem is I don't want to step into space early, but I'm going to have to. You know you have to. I'm going to have to go into space because my option you're gonna is... Have to, you're going to you're gonna have to pay when you fucking use ECL. My option in, in the ground is so much better. Than in the space. Alright, you ready? Cool. Ah, I'm so mad here. This is so bad. I'm so mad. Oh my god, I don't know what I'm doing actually. I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh my god. Uh, just no, resource so whichever ones you can't play. I, I, it's just a really good hand. Okay, but you should know what you should know what you're gonna play. Just resource the ones that you're not gonna play in the next fucking right, two turns. Saying, so I play this. I play this. I don't play that. I play. Okay, yeah. I think you're right. I think this is the one. It has to be. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Why are you scared? God, bro. No zero chill with you. Zero. Let me check. Bro, I can't keep both. All right, I'm gonna put one bottom and leave the one on top. This is this is like I, now I know how. Never mind. Go ahead. I was gonna say how Jesus feels uh, when he prays to God and the, and the prayers are answered. Whew, feels amazing. So be in one. Um, <laughs> wow, what a um, pro play, bro. It's initiative. Whatever, man. What a genius play, man. Wow, high, high level like you. Wow, man, can you teach me how to play this game like you? Nope. So high IQ. Go That'd ahead, Wings cool. of Liberty. Cool. Wings of Liberty, go ahead. Look how, how high IQ you no. are. <laughs> play it! Play your trash fleet to lieutenant. Yeah, Wings of Liberty. Wallah, I'm gonna make you regret doing that. Wallah, I'm gonna make you regret. Two here. I'm going to make you regret doing that. This. You're going to say, wow, maybe I should have th thought about this twice. <laughs> no, I'm not. Um, the plus one. Uh... Initiative. <laughs> Why are you scared, bro? All right, let's go. All right, we got everything we need here. We're good. We're going to pop this guy. Up. Where? Well, what? He's not going to let me steal this dude. Not unless he pops him with more damage. All right. And, um... We'll just take down... The take down, the big down. Um... We'll just power the dark side, your dumbass. Wow, you're scared, dude. I can feel it. Six. Uh, 
Sabine and... All right, I'm gonna do it here. For two. Uh, Sabine. Uh. <laughs> I don't know why I'm being an asshole, my bad. I'm sorry. You're a good guy. Yeah, you're weird. Cause you're weird. That's why. I just don't like your deck, bro. Your right, dick. It's me. I'll do director Krennic, the big boss, with the big balls. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do. Oh my god, you messed up. Uh -huh. I'm going to ECL and bash to the spin, taking two damage, upgrading my brother here for one. Actually, actually, I'll upgrade this guy. I'll be home in an hour. I'll get in your event and mm. play you on cam, oh, coach you on kind of, and I'll beat this guy too. You're playing, I um, made top eight regionals. You're playing, I made top eight regionals. Good for you, man. Have fun with your cargo juggernauts. They, <laughs> they look like you. The cargo juggernauts, they look like you. What you got? I said I, I said I took initiative. Oh, you took initiative? Okay, then I'll just uh, smash into your dude, heal two. Take two, three, and then I'll do two damage to your base, and pass. Man, this guy is a problem, man. Allowing sex wing is a problem to me, man. Alliance six wing is a big problem to me. As long as I'm not cheating this game, I'm happy. Bro, I'm not cheating this game, right? I haven't cheated yet. I hope not. I'm uh, surprised. What are you gonna put? <laughs> you said you're surprised. <laughs> you're such an asshole, <laughs> bro. You're such a liar, bro. Stop saying shit like that. You make me look bad. Um, let's do. He's gonna hit me first. Then I'm gonna steal him. If he doesn't play it, that's big bad problem. He should hit me first. He should hit me first. That'd be greedy if you just wing leader again. No, don't. Don't do it. No, you messed up, man. That was a misplay. No, you cannot do that. You have to make sure you're protected. Oops, this is going to be bad for you. Um, I'm going to do... With the... Inferno 4 into your raid guy. Dying. And I'll use my ability. And then what happens is... Uh, my brother gives me the ability to do things. Hennick, Krennic, sorry, the, uh, the Gideon, and I'll give Gideon plus one. I'll do this guy into this. I'll take five more. Heal two, and I'll give one more upgrade here. Okay, I'll do, what is this, four and nine. Because it's eight and then plus one from the damage. Um, That's game. Four, 13. That's game, right? No. Huh? All right, yeah, pass. Nice. Seven, I'm at seven. That's game. That's game because if Gideon attacks, he, you you lose. Yeah. All right. All right. That's it. Wow, that was speed. All right, I'm gonna be at zero now. Okay. Draw uh, six. Ready to go here. 
I'm gonna return this hand. How do you, you deal your spell? You search six? Is that what you're doing? Seven fast. Oh, I see. Damn, nothing to draw. Alright, All right, we'll keep this hand. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. How am I drawing your cards? Oh, wow. I press deal. <laughs> Sorry. Refresh, restart. <laughs> Uh, hang on. Okay, we'll put this and this. We don't need both soul blocks, that's for sure. Okay. Kind of bad hand, yeah. but we're going to have to deal with it. Apparently, the deal to red is a big deal. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> bad hand. Had to put out Darth Vader. I'm not going to play with two Darth Vaders. At least we have the answer. We just need to ASAP accelerate before him. The only problem here. Let's see if we could do it. Okay, and then roll for initiative, or should I just go first? You're, you just go first. Okay. Um... Rogue right. Sure. Ooh, what do you got? Take down super laser blast. Oh, one of those, eh? Whoa. Okay, you're not doing anything for the first few hands. <laughs> Turns. Go ahead. All right. Thank you. I'm just gonna take initiative. That makes sense. Uh, I will. This thing. So now I have to dump my like hands and change it. What? Uh, sorry. Uh, there we go. Uh, and then I will pass. I have to dump my hand now. This is trash. What is this? I don't need a vanquish right now. It's so trashy. Okay, I'll start with uh, cell block. Okay, I'm going to attack with the probe to right against the cell block. I'll take initiative. Okay. Uh, sorry, I got my piles backwards here. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, two for the Stormtrooper. Nice. Uh, and then I'm assuming since you passed, I have another action here. I'll play the Stormtrooper. Uh, and then I will... Ready. I'm, I'm, I'll pass. Okay. He's just rushing in. Okay, we gotta steal one of his guys. Bro, we're not gonna make it that far. It up. Drawing. Count Duke is not gonna make it. Resourcing. Actually, I should be better in the mid game, right? Maybe we steal the super laser blast he puts in. Um, what I'm going to do is, hmm. Yeah, I'll just take down this gun. Okay. I didn't have a super uh, laser attacking with the other trooper. Okay, I'll take initiative. I'm so behind. I'm hoping he plays a super laser blast so I can steal Playing it. three for a resupply. Nice. And then, since you took initiative, I will pass. Wow, this is not good. not looking great. I mean, this hand is way too late game. Too many traders, but I need I need them. I need to steal his units. I'm I'm actually struggling here. I'm gonna need to steal whatever he plays with the uh, Darth Vader. Or I think I lose the game. I think I'm gonna have to do it twice for two turns in a row. Yeah, let's just get rid of this for now. Alright, I'm gonna start with the traitors, please. Oh, really? 
Thank you. I needed the super laser, but that was not a super laser. But I can use this again next turn too. It's uh, annoying. Okay, uh, three for the soul block guard. That's fine. I'm gonna pull out my Krennic now. Okay, guys, I think we don't do anything here. We just steal the cell block next turn. I don't think we attack. All he has is a Vader next turn. Gotcha. Um, we can't really answer him with anything except uh, stealing the cell block. Hmm. Okay. Three for the uh, trooper. I can't really do anything special with him. So we just come into play. Nope. Right, not three. Sorry, it's just. Oops. Uh, just two. You're up. That's fine. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take initiative, please. Oh, really? Uh, okay, we're going to use Vader's ability um, for one to hit. Um, let's put it on. Put it on. Krennic. Okay. And then pass. We don't need the vanquishes at all. This is too strong. All right, my first action. Are you? Oh no, you're not ready. Let's wait for him. I think we're going to win this game, guys. Um, let's see. We just need to have a good answer for this Darth Vader when he comes on. I think we do. We have the Darth Vader. We have power of the dark, so we have the super laser. Uh, so I don't think ahead. we're going to let him go far. All right, I'm going to go ahead and trade your cell block as well. That card is a fucking pain in the ass, man. It's a kill one, gain one. It's crazy. And I know you don't have an answer to upgrades. That shit is fucking crazy. Honestly, I didn't have any single other card that could do... Any other card could have done any okay. kind of impact. Uh, seven for uh, Vader. Yep. Here we go searching again. Um, we're gonna do the search first. Okay, we killed the Vader here. Matter, to be honest, but we'll do the search first. Um, okay, so flip. So we killed everybody, right? Is it five or ten with Vader? F so ten, it's okay. ten. Nice. I don't really have an answer to that. Do you ambush? And then, yeah, we have to ambush my own cell blocker. So you just take three? Correct. I will... Hmm. And this thing is like this. Sure, I will uh, just attack into this. Go to four. Okay. And I restore two. No cards, huh? No cards, no resources. Uh, I have one. Oh, okay. Um, not nice that it's matter <laughs> in this exact case. Uh, okay, we're going to attack with the uh, trooper to Krennic. Exactly what I thought would happen. Oh, I don't die, actually. I survived he one die. more. He die. Not yet. Uh, Okay, then I'll just attack you and die. Because I'm at four now because I have six resources. Yeah, that makes sense. Makes it okay. seven. 
Okay, and now Vader is going to come out. How do I uh, flip him again? There we go. Okay. No problem. I'm just going to have to take the initiative here. Okay, and then I'll swing with Vader to the base with Krennic for two. Cool. Um, you're done? Uh, yes. Pass. Cool. Nice job, man. You did a lot there. That was a big turn for you. Vader into... I'm just lucky I stole your units a couple of turns earlier or you would have just had an insane field. I'm just lucky. I think we're just going to power the dark side. Man. Are you ready? Uh, sorry, thinking about what to resource here. Um... Uh, fuck. fuck, they're all both so good. God damn it. I don't think I actually okay. I this is resupplied this game and I still okay. made it happen. This is amazing. This deck's too strong. So you ready? Yeah, go ahead. Go all ahead. right, I'm going to just part of the dark side. Is that, is that non-leader, wasn't it? It says an opponent chooses a unit. Oh my God, okay. But the Avenger says non-leader unit. So that deck is basically good against mass units and also singular units. It's fucking... It's just <laughs> so basically it's just good against everything. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> this is unbeatable. Honestly, it deals with uh, late game really well and with early I'm game. I think it is the deck, yes. I'm honestly surprised. There we go. I'm having a bit of a tough time getting him. Bro, I, I, I was feeling bad seeing that. <laughs> seeing your struggle uh, with the Vader. That's uh, that's how that goes. Okay, uh, so I'm going to use the uh, drawing part of this thing uh, to uh, sure. uh, draw a card. I'm just going to outright draw it because I'm not going to do any healing. That doesn't make any sense. No, is there's a bee inside the house, boys? Uh, do I have to show it to you? No, no. Uh, uh, if you unless you discard it, you don't. All right, my turn. I'll, I will take initiative. Okay, and uh, I will pass. Man, my bad, man. There's literally a freaking bee in my house right now. All good, don't you take that. Whatever, are you ready? Yep, yep. I'm, right, I'm just gonna super laser your ass. That's annoying. Go ahead. <laughs> no, you go ahead. Uh, I'm gonna play the uh, tie here, I guess. Take it, stoop. Okay, pass. All right, um, all right, I'm just going to start with the Avenger. We'll just start with the Avenger. <laughs> Why is it making it sound bad? I think it's uh, I think it's GG, but I got I got nothing for this. Uh, okay, um, I take initiative. It's stuck. It's stuck in between none of my business. I've never sat at zero health and thought, hey, it's a good game. Yeah. I noticed you don't have Force Surrenders. Maybe that's an interesting card for you. Force Surrender. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I do have that actually um, 
Uh, now that I think about it, I do have that on my sideboard for the other uh, for my live deck, which runs the same thing. It's not huge because this this like like the actual mechanic of the game lets you draw two. It just slows slows down the opponent. Like sometimes you can control a whole turn. If I emptied my hand and I only have two cards, you just don't let me play the game for a turn or two. Especially early mid game, like right when you can play it. But anyways, what you got? Uh, sorry, I passed and uh, took initiative, and so it's on you here now. Oh, then I just passed. I thought we, I thought we drew and everything. Uh, oh, after turn. I played the Avenger, you don't play anything. No, no, no. That was that was that was. You just played the Avenger, and then I passed after drawing. And then, I, and then I, I, I took initiative, and then you have action. Then I'll just pass. Yeah, I didn't know. Sorry. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Hmm, you don't like the Avenger, huh? She just wants to have some friends. Yeah, right, uh-huh. Just just some friends. Uh, okay, resource here. I know another friend. Um, well, thankfully I have an off-meta weirdness here. Let's see. Um, I have a chance. There is a chance, all right? There's a chance. Keep saying off meta like there's a meta. Check that one out. Hit a Raider Green deck. <laughs> yeah, for Ruthless Raiders? Uh, no, no, no. There is something else in there here for this. I got to actually get it though. How many cards is it though? I can't remember. Is it eight? Eight. Yeah, eight. Okay. Don't forget to put uh, your okay, cards in. So flip this like this. Put this over here. Um, and then uh, is it search or draw eight? Okay. And I didn't get what I needed. <laughs> My Kronik is supreme Terrible. leader. Okay. We got we got we got one. Oh, that that's matters. insane, yeah. I mean We got one, but it's um, Bro, why are you acting sad? You literally got exactly what you want. What do you want? An interceptor? Um, no, I wanted Devastator. Actually, that's what I. Oh, wanted. that would have been amazing. You're right. That would have been insane. And oddly enough, the only reason why I use them is because of Force Throw. <laughs> wow. It's literally meant to deal with like the crazy Luke. <laughs> uh, okay. So, uh, flipping these back over and uh, G and. Uh, Bring them in here and shuffle, shuffle, and then put this like this. Like that. And then this is in my hand. And this goes there. And this, uh, let me bring back over here. All right, I'll do the Viper. I want to see what's in your hand. Okay. Fine. Strike true, huh? Interesting. Yes, that's the other uh, off meta card. I got lots of off meta shit in this deck. It's it's definitely uh, I turned it into more of like a control. That's like a part. It's a mid deck technically. It's not aggro. It's not control. It's a little bit of both. Um, okay, so I guess it's my turn. Uh, an Avenger. I mean, what am I supposed to do? Just like drop it and then just die to the Avenger. So, so gonna... you really don't. Have... Devastator is your only answer to the Avenger, really. And I already have an answer for your Devastator. Well, that's fucking great. Thanks, bud. Thanks. Just, <laughs> just ripped in there. Right? Maybe. Okay, so I'm passing. I let you go. Yeah, I'll just attack then. Okay. Eight. Uh, what is it, eight? Okay. Wait, what? Um, you're going to play your resource? <laughs> no, I'm not going to play my resource. I wish I had Lando right now. Fuck, I need it. Um... Six, seven, he has eight. nine nine up guys. Um, Let's see what he's got, bro. The deck is too good, man. The deck is too uh, good. It's I'm insane. Play his ability to draw one, uh, and then and discard it to heal. Uh, one, two, three. That's fine. I'll take initiative. Yeah, he's gonna die right now. <laughs> Fuck, I wish I could not, I wish I could, like... It's almost no it counterplay, huh? It's so brutal, dude. It's so brutal. So brutal. 
It's actually true. Emperor Palpatine though helps you. You have answers. You have Ruthless Raider uh, with ECL. I have an Emperor. I have an Emperor, um, but I just I'm not getting them. So it is what. Yeah, it is. you have ECL Ruthless. You have you have answers. It just it just takes some steps. It just it's it's difficult. All right. Yeah. So if you're ready. Yeah. I'll just uh, laser blast your walker. Fuck. Hang on. Uh, we're gonna. I might need that. I might need that. Okay. Yeah, it's dying. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Eight. Ow. Uh, did you already apply the eight? Yeah, I, I went, look, red gained 8 base damage. It says it right down at the bottom. I gave to you, yeah. Sorry, thinking. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Shoot, I have so many answers, dude. That's it, the game's over, honestly, at this point. There's no way he's coming back from this. Even with Palpa. I'll just kill the Palpatine with the Devastator, and then he just okay, cannot come four back. for the Interceptor. It's really three. Yeah, of course, stealing three to the Avenger, um, and God knows I need that right now. Um, um, then I will... Two, two to you. Okay, taking two. And... Uh, seven for Vader. Uh, uh, flipping, putting. Uh, Vader was ten, right? It's just not enough. Yeah, ten. I think I'm just gonna super laser blast this. Whole that would have been handy, eh? <laughs> now it goes right down to the bottom. Uh. <laughs> okay uh what do i bring out here i guess we're gonna bring i'm not sure it matters much oh actually maybe that actually might be good right about here uh okay flipping gathering placing oops sorry wow why doesn't it want to fucking grab the whole pile? There we go. Okay. Shuffling. I think we just Vader here. We need something on board. But then we have nothing to kill this way. And then activating ambush to kill the probe droid. So you take three. You take three. Yeah. Hmm. Oops. What I'm going to do then is... Okay. This disc definitely gives you exposure to a completely different style of the game, eh? Yes, sir. I'm just gonna super laser. Oh my god. Oh my god. You did all of it all at once. But yep. it's... At least I got rid of Devastator or Avenger. Yeah, you got rid of the Avenger. Should be really excited, I guess. Um, okay, I'm gonna take initiative then. No problem. I will. Play Inferno. Keep both. No. Okay. Well, yeah, I'll keep both. Oops, sorry. Oh, just a traitor, is eh? God damn. Okay, go ahead. No big deal. <laughs> it's not gonna matter much, dude. Honestly. Uh, I'll pass. Okay. Uh, so then I will ready, and we'll play. These are good. This kills Devastator. This steals whatever he plays. This is really good. Oh, so annoying. We're so ahead right now. So, it's insane. Krennic won the recent championship, didn't it? Is that what yeah, I mean? yeah, but this is not the same Krennic. I promise you that. 
I promise you, this is much Krennic. better than that Krennic. I, I bet you go go bring that deck and come play against this Krennic. Yeah, honestly, I'm going to make this deck tonight. Like, I'm literally going to make something very similar to this. This is uh, very strong. I have the super. I mean, this Krennic is godlike, bro. I've tested it all. You haven't even seen anything. I haven't even brought out my Relentless, my Devastator. I run three Devastators in my side. Uh, okay. Um, Unbeatable. No aggro deck will beat it. The only way you lose is by misplays. That's it. Okay. Uh, I understand for sure. Okay, we're going to bring the... Um, He's so uh, mad. <laughs> uh, cell block out here. That's fine. Just give it to me. Yeah, I figured. I, I don't have much else, though. That's my problem. Um, you're just nice. I was hoping you'd let me have it for a turn. No, you're okay. just nice. I'll take initiative then. I'll do two damage to you and pass. Actually, won't put anything in. The po the Polish uh, champion. What he did was he did too much mid game. He went steadfast, uh, Hask, and he went for the juggernaut cargo. I mean, you will see if you play against Vader with those cards, you will lose every single game. You cannot, you cannot greet Gideon Hask Vader. He will take, sh he will choke it, and take a dump on you because it's he kills your five cost for two. It's crazy. I guess I probably could have uh, done Vader's ability on the cell block and done one, but whatever. Uh, so I'm not gonna resource. Uh, so I think it's my action here. So I will play. Um, uh, another weirdo off meta one. Uh, sure, I will go ahead and uh, do three to your base. Okay. Now I know why they call it traitors. I. Look, guys, I'm going to call out a six. Okay, uh, a four. Three here. What the hell? Three? Three times? Uh, four. The open three? fire on your tie. A four. All right, here? Yeah. All right, I'll use this ability. Holy moly. Both leaving up top. Wow. Unbelievable. I will... Uh... <laughs> I will play my... Oh, one of them fucking things, Yeah, eh? I'll play my Viper, sure. Okay. What could go wrong? Uh, I will take initiative. Hmm. Fine, I'm just going to play Vader. Oh, you have a Vader. Yeah, but I'm not going to use Ambush. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play out an Inferno 4. And it lets me look up at the top of my deck. I put one bottom, one on top. Go ahead. I pass. Okay. Ready up. Keep. I still have ECL, guys. So this this number you are kills him. Enough damage currently just to win. Out yeah, I have thing. enough if I want to. Yep. I don't know if I have much. I'm sure you have, have a lot. A I have a chance. There is a chance. I know you have a lot. Not a big chance, but there's a chance. So you're saying there's a chance. Um, I should probably resource here before we go too far. Um, 
Not if you think the game's ending soon. I don't have a choice. I'm going to need the mana here in a sec. Okay. So, um, I assume you're done. Ready to go? Yeah, let's go. Let's go, he says. Um, okay. This is where it gets exciting. Okay. Uh, so, I don't know if I'm going to get there, but we'll try. That should be seven, I think. So how, how do you tell how many cards? So if you group them, it'll tell you. Seven, okay. Aha, that'll make sense. Okay, so seven for Vader. Uh, we'll trigger the ambush on the cell block guard, and then we'll take a look. It's not going to make any difference if I do it in the other order, so hang on a minute here. Processing Vader. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Can we super laser? Actually, blast? maybe we'll do this no. dude. We can Gideon though here. Wow, we're going to do a lot of damage with Gideon here. God. Hold down, Lance. There we go. Got her done. All right, my turn? Yes, sir. All right, I'm going to start with uh, Gideon. EC Eld. Okay. Into your fifth brother. Taking two damage, giving one upgrade. To himself, to himself. Okay. What you got? Thinking. Um, oh, this is tough. Okay. Uh, three, four, the cell block guard. Y'all seen the guy that in the stream that was salty as fuck? Alright, so when you, so you play him, okay, I will do. Nice job. I'll do three, uh, four here, giving one more upgrade token here. And then I'll attack with the uh, to your base with the. Uh, oh wait, no. Let's attack. Let's attack the viper with this dude. And, and you draw, draw two. two. Yeah. Nice job. Yeah, I will. Yeah, that's really, 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 really. Yeah, awesome. that's really good. <laughs> I'm gonna part the dark side, the Vader. Motherfucker. <laughs> bro, why are you mad, bro? <laughs> and I'll get one more bro, to the Gideon. Going, dude. I literally. <laughs> get it on the board. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. I just have answers. It's all good, dude. I'm gonna make this deck, dude. I'm literally gonna go. Bro, it's gangster, I'm, bro. I've proved it so many tournaments. Everyone's scared of me in the locals, bro. Did you see the lo locals uh, stream the beginning? Yeah, the first game. Sorry, which? Uh, no, I haven't seen that stream. Check out the no. Luke game. Motherfucker scoops both games against me, like turn three before turn four. And he just tells me, if you want to play against me, don't play control. Well, I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, I, um, it's an interesting one. Uh, okay, Here, two so damage. And then damage. I will look at I your hand. Turn, by the way, I need to top deck to win. Let me look at your hand. Had I kept Vader out, Wow, I yeah, Had I, I will Vader never, out, I yeah. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Literally one decision decides the game, my man. Maybe you should have played the overwhelming over the cell block. 
potential. Because you had uh, enough if you look five. I, it's but I, I think it just d delays the inevitable though. I yeah, it does. It kind of does because I, I mean it would have been seven damage. I mean it doesn't clear my board, but it does kill this guy. I sort of had to go for all of it. That was what was in my head, but I, it was difficult yeah. to really. I don't it know, does. It does. All right. right. It's one of those things I got to practice it a lot. And I, now that I know what this is, I'm definitely going to... You actually need practice. Yeah, that's the biggest difference. Yeah, like, yeah, I noticed once punches. you play against a deck, you have a better way to play against it. Yeah, yeah, you play against it a lot. Like, sure. I played against Vader. I got crushed so badly. He just ramped up against me. I didn't understand it. I was, like, trying to go against him like I do Sabine. Like, rushing into the ECL steadfast. And it just didn't work like I wanted it to. And I will scoop. Uh, because there's no way. I, I can't deal prevent the damage coming. GG. I have I have some count. Alright, bro, good luck. Good luck, let's do this. I'll keep. This is so good. Whatever. All right. And I will play. That was so good. This is an insane hand to start with. Um. So we start with this into this into traders. Nice start there. I'm gonna go into uh, ground if you're gonna go into space. Man. Sure, I'll take it just too. Alright, let's get it. I hope resupply. Thank God resupply over this guy. Thank God this is trash. Resupply is better, so much right. better. Thank God I drew resupply. Alright, uh, my turn. My turn? You got initiative, dumbass. Alright, I'll do resupply. Thank thank God I drew resupply over the super laser. Because I don't think he's gonna play anything on the on the ground. So I would have never been able to kill Super Laser. That means I would have never unlocked Traitor. So now if he wing leaders into this, I would have never Let's been able to see it. Hmm. I don't think we're attack with this guy. I think we just take initiative. Swing two. Sure, I'll just do one. One, and then let's go. We we literally come out next turn with Sabine, same turn. We could because of that resupply. Yeah, we could steal this guy. Sure, I'll take initiative then. Alright, Sabine. Alright, let's go. My turn. Oh my god, we're not let's gonna have go. well we could still kill him. My question is do we go into steal his no, we're gonna steal this guy. Cause we can mm. kill this guy with takedown if he a X wings it, but we can kill this guy with take down if he X wings it. Well, All right. Okay. Ready? Yep. First thing I'll do is I will. Damn, actually I have ECL Gideon. I'll just ECL Gideon. This is too good. Uh, okay, so it does 30 to you. Yep. yep. Um, I can ECL Gideon there. I didn't know. I forgot. I think that's the best play. Now he can X Wing into. Giving this uh, power and mm -hmm. worst case scenario, let's say he like X wings for the Sabine. We could still do damage on the Sabine, kill it next turn with the scout bike pursuit. There's the ECL. Damn it. Uh... 
Hmm, let's see what he wants to do. We have I'm traders, we can steal whatever. Let's have to take down with the Sabine. Actually, he just cannot X Wing it. Oh, well, ECL. Into Gideon. Yeah, when you die, I give another token. Even though he's dead? Yeah, he sees himself dying. So he can give one more token away. Because, uh, for example, uh, Eden, when she, if you super laser blast, she takes, uh, pl she heals plus one for every single unit died, even though she died the same time with them. She sees them dying. Okay, well then, on attack, uh, deal uh, damage to base. Because uh, it's a main attack. So, yeah. Deal one Okay, to okay. Mm -hmm. I will do th three. three. No, no, wait, 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 wait. I'll just pull out my Krennic. Okay. I will. Um... What the fuck? What you got? On the base. I'll do two to bow uh, to you and heal two. Okay. I will help out. No problem. I will do three to your base. Okay. So I'm at three six right now, and with grit, be careful. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's crazy. And he, he pops off of Krennic, too. Doesn't matter. He sucks, bro. Um, let's go. Red Bull Soul. Nice, yeah. That will do and it. Four at base and three of us. So seven. Go to 11. Yes, sir. I'll take Nish, too. Let's go ahead. We don't need that. Mm. Okay. I think we win here. Kind of want to take damage from this, but it's okay. We'll just attack. We'll, we'll find something else to hit with this guy. All right. My first thing will have to be to take you down. Let's so now he can't even ping me. So three damage is, and potentially four damage was off. Okay, I will. By killing it this turn, so it's value. And he can't ECL the steadfast either. Anyways, he can't do that really. There's the X-wing. Now we steal it. Yeah, that's. Uh, I'm gonna just have to inferno four against it. Put one on bottom, one on top. Okay. Go for it. I will swing forward base. I'll do two to your base and heal two. Okay. I will... Nice job. I'll take uh, initiative. Oh, all right, let's go. Yeah? Um, let's go. Okay, we know exactly what to do here, guys. God, you're such a pussy, too. It's so funny. What? What'd you say? <laughs> I'm saying it's such a pussy, not swing, not swinging, fucking with your scout bike. All right, all right. Um, we'll see. I'm actually gonna just play it here. Overwhelming might come back to fight me, but we'll see. All right, then I'll just overwhelming and kill this and this.
can't rebel assault anymore. Now I just need to take initiative ASAP. So I need to heal. He's doing four damage with this every turn. Five with that. Not bad at all. I'm going to do four to your base and heal two. Swing six at base. That's great. So I'll do three into you and I'll take three. You have to take initiative there. Well, actually, oh, wait, 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 no. Wait, no, because I get one more, because red three, so yeah. Yeah. Sure. Mm. Hmm, I'm losing here. Heavy. I will do two damage to your base and pass. I lose here. I think I lose here. If he has rebel assault, I lose here. It depends. A huge attack. So we five at base. Nice. I will. Hmm. I'll just traitorous your raider here. Okay. Hopefully we heal. Enough. Uh -huh. We'll see. Oh, we actually might win here. How much damage is this? Three, four, five, six, seven. We would have won. No, we need one more damage. That's crazy. One, two, three, mm -hmm. four, five, yeah, six, seven. Last He's at seven. He needs one more damage. Yeah. What is this hit for? Wow. Six. If he uh, pings himself, I win game. Hello, me. passing by, just watching. I'm a Krennic player as well. Can I see somewhere? Yeah. All right, you got it. What did you do? No, I said you got it. No, no, that. play the game. Play it out. There's nothing to play. Play it not... out. There's nothing to play. No, you play win all it. damage. Yeah, because if you hit yourself, I kill you. No, that hits for six, but uh, no, you were just hit with something else after. Wow, I was literally saved by one HP because you literally pinged me. Yeah, so if I would have pinged last turn, maybe I could have got you. Yeah, but you you couldn't because if you pinged last turn, I would have never let you do attack me with this much damage. I would have traitorous it because I would have taken initiative. So it was the right thing not to ping me last turn. There you go. Did you, did I would have just traitorous too. Did you draw into the traitorous? No, I had it for a couple of turns. I just uh, couldn't play it because... I could, for example, the overwhelming barrage. I could have traitorous instead, but I wanted to just clear your board more. All right, All right bro. Um, man, the deck.